were to risk a polar route, it'd have a snowball's chance of finally landing on even the right continent. Close to the pole, a magnetic compass is no use at all. These days, set straight by gyroscopes, airlines routinely fly over the poles. The value of the gyroscope isn't limited to the poles, nor even to the atmosphere of the Earth. In outer space, where precious time and rocket fuel must be used wisely, gyroscopes are more than ever vital elements of navigation. Whether in the water of the Earth, the clouds above it, or in outer space, a gyroscope's value depends on its ability to spin in a fixed direction without precessing. Gyroscope designers reduce precession by eliminating torques and improving design. When an object precesses, the tip of its angular momentum vector moves in uniform circular motion with a constant angular speed called capital omega. Capital omega is the rate of precession. The equations of uniform circular motion say that V, the rate of change of R, is omega times R. In the same way, tau, the rate of change of L, is capital omega times L. So omega is just torque divided by L. Since a good gyroscope's one that hardly precesses at all, the bike wheel isn't good for navigation. It precesses too much. Why? Torque is R cross F. Since they're perpendicular for the bicycle wheel, the magnitude is R times F. The force comes from gravity. Angular momentum is M times R cross V. All the mass is at the rim, so the magnitude of L is m times the radius of the wheel times the velocity of the rim. Since V is omega r, the precession rate is the distance to the pivot times g divided by the rotation rate of the wheel times the radius of the wheel squared. The gyroscope will precess least if it's spinning fast, if the wheel is large, and if it's